In this upcoming video, we will delve into the book, Why I Left Goldman Sachs, and extract seven valuable lessons from it. Get ready to uncover the insights and revelations that this book offers. Learning how one person's experience in a prestigious firm led to a major decision that would change their life. 1. The Illusion of Prestige The lesson of the illusion of prestige and why I left Goldman Sachs explores the idea that prestige in a job or industry may not always equate to personal fulfillment. It delves into the pressure to succeed in high-profile positions, often at the expense of one's well-being and values. The author reflects on the intense competition and long hours expected in top-tier firms like Goldman Sachs, which can lead to burnout and disillusionment. The lesson highlights the importance of questioning societal norms in reevaluating personal priorities. It suggests that true success is not necessarily tied to external recognition or admiration. Instead, finding meaning and satisfaction in one's work should be the ultimate goal. The illusion of prestige can cloud one's judgment and lead them away from their authentic aspirations. The lesson serves as a reminder to prioritize personal growth and genuine fulfillment over status and outward appearances. By understanding the limitations of chasing prestige, individuals can make more conscious choices aligned with their values and well-being. 2. The Pressure Cooker Culture The pressure cooker culture at Goldman Sachs was intense and all-consuming. It was a high-stakes environment where employees were expected to work long hours and deliver results quickly. The competitive nature of the culture created a sense of constant pressure to outperform peers. Employees were pushed to their limits, both mentally and physically, in order to meet the demands of the job. The relentless focus on profits and success led to a lack of work-life balance for many employees. The pressure cooker culture fostered a cutthroat mentality among employees, where success was often measured by how much one was willing to sacrifice for the job. This kind of environment could be toxic and detrimental to employees' well-being in the long run. The intense pressure to perform could lead to burnout and mental health issues among employees. The competitive nature of the culture also bred a sense of mistrust and paranoia among colleagues. Overall, the pressure cooker culture at Goldman Sachs had a significant impact on the mental and emotional well-being of its employees. 3. The Destructive Impact of Greed The lesson of the destructive impact of greed and why I left Goldman Sachs highlights the detrimental effects of greed in the financial industry. Greed can drive individuals to make unethical decisions at the expense of others. It can lead to a toxic work environment where colleagues are pitted against each other for personal gain. Greed can blind individuals to the long-term consequences of their actions, focusing solely on short-term profits. This can result in unethical behavior such as insider trading or fraud. Greed can also erode trust within organizations, leading to a breakdown in communication and collaboration. It can create a culture where success is measured solely by financial gain, disregarding the well-being of employees and clients. Greed can ultimately damage reputations and undermine the integrity of the financial industry as a whole. It is important for individuals to prioritize ethics and integrity over personal greed to build a sustainable and trustworthy financial system. 4. The Importance of Ethical Boundaries Ethical boundaries play a crucial role in maintaining trust and integrity in the workplace. Upholding ethical standards helps to build credibility with clients and colleagues. Without clear ethical boundaries, conflicts of interest and questionable behavior can arise. Setting and enforcing ethical boundaries can help prevent misconduct and unethical practices. Employees who adhere to ethical standards are more likely to make sound decisions and act with honesty and transparency. Ethical boundaries also help to protect individuals and organizations from legal and reputational risks. It is important for organizations to have strong ethical guidelines in place to guide employee behavior. 
Leaders must lead by example and demonstrate a commitment to ethical behavior in order to foster a culture of integrity by respecting ethical boundaries. Individuals can create a positive work environment and contribute to a sustainable business model. Overall, the importance of ethical boundaries cannot be overstated in upholding professional values and promoting trust within an organization. 5. The Toll on Mental Health The toll on mental health and why I left Goldman Sachs is a prominent theme throughout the book. It highlights the intense pressure and stress that employees face in a high-pressure environment. The author discusses the long hours and demanding expectations that can take a significant toll on one's mental well-being. It sheds light on the impact of a culture that prioritizes profit over the health and well-being of its employees. The lesson emphasizes the importance of setting boundaries and prioritizing mental health in the workplace. It also underscores the need for organizations to create a supportive and healthy work environment. The toll on mental health serves as a cautionary tale about the consequences of neglecting one's well-being in pursuit of success. It prompts readers to reflect on their own work habits and the importance of maintaining a healthy work-life balance. Ultimately, it serves as a reminder that success at any cost is not sustainable in the long run. 6. The Decision to Prioritize Values Over Status Prioritizing values over status in the book Why I Left Goldman Sachs highlights the importance of staying true to one's beliefs and principles, even if it means sacrificing prestige or wealth. The lesson emphasizes the significance of integrity and ethical behavior in decision-making, rather than being swayed by the allure of success or recognition. By valuing personal values over external validation, individuals can maintain a sense of authenticity and self-respect. This mindset encourages a focus on long-term fulfillment and happiness, rather than short-term gains or accolades. It challenges the notion that status and material wealth are the ultimate measures of success, suggesting that true fulfillment comes from living a life aligned with one's values. Prioritizing values over status requires courage and conviction to stand firm in the face of societal pressures and expectations. It calls for a commitment to personal growth and self-awareness, understanding that true happiness comes from living in alignment with one's core beliefs. This lesson serves as a reminder that success is subjective and ultimately it is the choices we make based on our values that define who we are. It encourages individuals to prioritize inner fulfillment and purpose over external markers of success, paving the way for a more meaningful and fulfilling life. 7. The Journey to Self-Discovery The lesson of the journey to self-discovery in Why I Left Goldman Sachs emphasizes the importance of self-reflection and introspection. It encourages individuals to take the time to understand their values, aspirations, and motivations. This lesson underlines the significance of setting personal goals and staying true to oneself amidst external pressures. It underscores the idea that success should be defined on one's own terms, rather than society's expectations. The journey to self-discovery involves exploring one's strengths, weaknesses, and unique qualities. It prompts individuals to question their beliefs, attitudes, and assumptions about success and fulfillment. This lesson highlights the power of self-awareness in making informed decisions and navigating through challenges. It advocates for continuous learning and growth as essential components of personal development. The journey to self-discovery is a lifelong process that requires patience, courage, and commitment. It ultimately leads to a deeper sense of purpose, fulfillment, and authenticity. Thank you so much for joining me today on this journey through the pages of why I left Goldman Sachs. I hope you found the lessons and insights on the book both engaging and informative. If you enjoyed the content and found it valuable, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more in-depth book lessons and insights. Until our next literary escapade, happy reading, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care and stay inspired.